Yo, Oda, are you serious right now? Like, yo, this chapter of One Piece between the crazy setup that we had already with this chapter, with the reverie, with the summit that we're having, and all these fucking crazy people are about to be there. All these kingdoms, these kings, these queens, princesses, all sorts of shit. But then the end of the chapter, yo, the base of the revolutionary army, like, ooh, this fucking chapter, One Piece yet again. Like, I just really hope we get to see at least a glimpse, at least a flashback, something. I want to know what the the fuck happened in this gigantic fight with the Blackbeard Pirates and the Revolutionary Army? Please, Oda, please let us see that. So for starters, to be honest with you, I expect a lot of crazy shit to happen with all these people that are going. With Princess Vivi going, the way Oda's been setting it up and shit like that, it's gonna just be more than, oh, hey, she's going. Because for starters, the thing that her father wants to ask, that's already kind of some taboo shit. You know, the world government, they don't like to talk about that. It doesn't exist. That history, it never happened. Motherfuckers just didn't exist back then don't ask questions so the fact that he's going there to ask and he's already in poor health i honestly wouldn't be surprised if this dude dies during this arc probably from old health some shocking shit that he hears that it makes his heart stop some crazy shit is gonna happen to the king of alabasta and that's where vivi's gonna finally have to take over and become basically king or emperor or whatever you want to call it of alabasta and she's ready for it i mean the fact that she's like ah, i don't want no man nothing like that it shows vivi's character she's a strong ass woman and i love it i love seeing vivi's character how much she's grown and changed from like when we first seen her way back in the day of One Piece like yo she is a strong chick and she's dying to get back out on the seas like yo this chapter just seeing so many of these characters again and it's like we're having this big ass world summit of all the people that we've come across in the One Piece world and then some and they're all gonna be together and again with the world government like ooh because you have Fishman Island about to go up there and while Shiro she is scared which that kind of made me think like yeah that's part of her character she was a crybaby and shit like that but just like her brother said like did you not learn nothing with the straw hat so I was kind of like I thought, you know, Shiro Hoshi would have at least grown a little bit to the point where she's just like, yo, I'm boss bitch right now, we're going. So, a little bit disappointed in that, but again, that's part of her character, that's the comedic aspect of who she is. But, I'm thinking one big thing too, if she goes over there, yet again, that's another huge possibility of chaos going down at this summit. Because we know Shiro Hoshi's special, she's one of the three legendary weapons, supposedly. If she's gonna be there, if the world government knows about her, or anybody knows about what what she truly is don't you think these motherfuckers like you can't trust the world government you can't trust the pirates you can't trust nobody if anybody finds out they're gonna try to get your host and that's gonna be war in and of itself you think that jamon motherfucker the king is gonna let that go down his daughter Oh my gosh, the setups and plays with this chapter, the endless possibilities of the insanity that can happen at this summit, at this reverie. Ugh. And I mean, to be honest with you, they're not going to tell the Alabasta King what the old Alabasta King did back in the day to kind of give this separation. Because it's probably that he stood up for something, he stood up for justice, and they didn't like it. I even if they tell him something, they're probably going to say something very vague, like he went against the rules, and if you break the rules, you're going to get, you know, treated like shit. They're going to tell him something like that if they even tell him anything. If he gets any information and it's so fucking awesome how Oda does this that Robin's words from fucking like literally three four hundred five hundred chapters ago is still ingrained in this dude's head like I, I love it and I mean you got Dressrosa going too which is kind of cool even though we've seen those characters for a long ass time so don't really care too much to see them and I don't think really Oda is gonna focus that much on them because we just had like two years worth of manga on the Dressrosa people but it'll be nice to see them there as well again it's like connecting a bunch of Luffy's travels all together so many of the people that he's met throughout the adventure and that's kind of what luffy has done all along like he keeps on bringing these random people from across the seas together and it's gonna be some epic fucking shit i i just already know it i could smell it in the air and then the little bit that we have with the straw hats in this chapter kind of it was funny at first and then i was thinking like yo carrot's gonna blow everything and i honestly can see that that's the setup right there for carrot to fuck up their cover carrot's gonna be the one that's gonna ruin everything for the straw hats when they try to invade into big moms so they get sanji back like she's gonna ruin it all but at least she looks like maybe she could carry her own weight in a sense because of how she just knocked Luffy down and was ready to fucking like rip his neck off for that goddamn carrot. I was like, I mean, the way she went at Luffy's neck for that damn carrot, you know, carrot's gonna be somewhat formidable and they're gonna have to worry too much. Although I still kind of think she'll be in some sort of damsel in distress role in a way because I mean, the minks, I'm glad that they're not like the tontatas where the tontatas were like a little bit okay, but they were still pretty fucking weak in comparison. The minks kind of can hold their own. So I'm not that worried about it, but I do almost can guarantee that carrot's gonna fuck someone over somewhere where her annoying ass and big ass mouth personality and again the revolutionary army headquarters up in fucking flames and ruins it's done so you gotta ask did they lose 
Did the Black Bear Pirates annihilate them? Was it that the battle was so catastrophic that it destroyed their home base, but it's not that either side lost? Like, honestly, the way it happened, that it's off screen, first of all, I'm like, I'm disappointed in a sense only as a fan, like, oh my fucking god, I want to see that so bad right now. But then on the flip side, it's like, yeah, that probably means that no side really won. Maybe Dragon's incredible powers fucked everything up. Maybe Blackbeard used the Quake Quake fruit and fucked everything up, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we had a loser on either side and I think that's going to be a topic of discussion at this upcoming Reverie Summit like I can totally see them talking about well we have this power right here what do we do about that so there's a lot of things that are going to be discussed in the summit including the Straw Hats of course and their rise to infamy in the past couple years with all that being said honestly very very good chapter I, I mean almost great I want to say like eight and a half to a nine for this chapter I love the ending that it kind of left you in suspense like a motherfucker and then everything the setups the build-ups and everything like probably the weakest part of this whole thing was maybe the carrot thing just because like oh we got an annoying one with us but it'll probably just be for comedic purposes hopefully it doesn't get too annoying with carrot but with all that being said again very good to great chapter let me know what you guys think though who won did we get a winner between blackbeard versus the revolutionary army if so what the fuck happened what are your predictions your theories and how do you feel about this chapter one piece honestly it was just like one of those things where my fandom just kicked into overdrive and i was just like i love this i love this and your overall thoughts but thanks for watching if you enjoyed anything about this video make sure to drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and stalk my Facebook if you want more when the video ends. I'm Fanel World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.